the internet has given us some little pieces of gold today. Let me share a few with you. <laughs> and there's one that's slightly better. Oh, I think oh. How about this one? Slightly better. Fries, fries, fries. That's pretty good. I, I also love that whoever's done this has, like, they've changed the smiles. Everyone's smiling. Everybody's oh, having yeah. a great time. Oh, yeah. I didn't pick up on that. Look at you. Mm -hmm. eh? uh, now, after uh, knowing all about, what's his name? Arnold Palmer. He spoke for 10 minutes on stage uh, talking about the size of Arnold Palmer's, Palmer's penis, which is a, a golfer, one of the you know, greatest of all times. Uh, someone thought they'd do this. Um, sorry, the milk, sorry, the milkshake machine is broken. Do you want to hear about Ronald McDonald's cock? I thought that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. And one more, oh. someone, someone asked AI what it would actually look like to have Trump do a shift in McDonald's. And this is what AI spat out. I'll go back to the start. It's what AI spat. This is what it would actually look like for Donald Trump to work at McDonald's, according to AI. It's pretty, AI is pretty impressive these days. So, <laughs> it's so bad. It's good. <laughs> I don't know quite what's going on here. <laughs> it goes around and around and around. Yes, sometimes the uh, internet can be a toxic place of horribleness, and sometimes it can deliver a little chef's kiss. Mwah. Just like that. I, what, what I, I mean, the memes, are, 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 the whole thing, the whole McDonald's photo op, yeah, is is ridiculous because it is it has made some media organisations show their entire ass by just regurgitating this obvious planned photo op verbatim. You know, here's Trump working cosplaying as a working poor person, serving uh, fast food to to the the real legitimate uh, public, and it wasn't. It was it was actors. It was a closed McDonald's, and yeah. the whole reason he wanted to do it is because Kamala, uh, uh, sorry, Ka Kamala, um, worked in a McDonald's, had yeah. a real had a real person's job, and yeah. he wanted to go. No, that's not true. I'm the only candidate that's ever worked in a McDonald's. That's the whole reason for this. Yeah, and it's just so hilariously performative and fake. <laughs> that it's just the gift that keeps on giving. I was um watching uh Pierce Morgan today. I was kind of playing in my ears while I was running the dog. And there was a progressive guy on it called Luke Beasley, who's a young fella who's doing sort of a David Pakman type shtick on the internet. Mm -hmm. don't, don't mean that in a bad way, shtick, but you know, that's his vibe. And this thing came up about uh, Kamala Harris. And I know that we all know where Piers Morgan's bread is buttered. He tries to be like, I'm a centrist, I'm a centrist. You know, but you never hear him putting a negative slant on what Trump does, right? It's the framing. Mm. And today they spent six minutes out of 48, four to seven minutes talking about Kamala Harris lying as a McDonald's worker. And there's been no evidence that she ever worked there and, you know, yada, 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 yada. And I just felt, I mean, this sounds really arrogant when you say it like this, but Luke Mr. really easy in. It's like, I just wanted to go for fuck's sake, shut the fuck up. Okay. Piers, if what you're saying is correct and Kamala Harris is lying, we've just spent seven minutes of the show talking about a person padding their CV to seem more relatable and no time talking about the other man who lied about rooting a porn star while his wife was pregnant with his child or giving birth to his child. You know what I mean? It's like the framing of it is, oh my God, she, she lied about, okay, let's say she did. I'll take her lies in, in a month of Sundays over the stuff he's lied about, yet the framing sets it up to then talk about, didn't Trump win this? Because it's all about kind of dogging her, you know, it's getting it in. And and it doesn't, it, it was just, it was frustrating. Frustrating. Mm. It, it, it's ridiculous, isn't it? That this is <laughs> the level that uh, the US political debate has to see. the to. dogs, we're serving the cat. Very good. I like that one too. I can't find the other one that I was looking for though that had um, famous felons that had worked at McDonald's and it's just, it's Trump and the Hamburglar. 
<laughs> that was also a good one. Well, remember, we do have a connection with McDonald's here in the show because we thought uh, Mr. Luxon looked like Grimace for quite a long while, didn't we? I wonder if I can find that. <laughs> I, I mean, of... pe people brought up the fact that Luxon did did a photo up at McDonald's. At least he he legitimately worked there when he was younger. Like, yeah. it, it was performative, yes, but nowhere near as performative as what Trump's done. Ah, oh, you know, that's it's so Pat. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. Is, isn't one of your most recent acquisitions some sort of sticker making machine well this this uh, artist who did this actually works for another media organization and it's not he hasn't created this brand new it's 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 different oh. but it's created from something else he created for another media organization so i asked him about that because i thought actually a fantastic um key ring <laughs> a little hairy <laughs> key ring um, but you know, we will, we will reapproach. and yes, uh, the meeting that I'm trying to get, uh, moved tomorrow has to do with the printing equipment. That's what we're trying to figure out. So it's not really my timetable, but we'll see. So if I can't make it tomorrow, Chewy, it is for a very, very good reason. I'm looking through the door right there and, and out behind the camera, there is a big massive 50 kilo press for printing on, for pressing uh, prints onto t-shirts and tomorrow. The digital printers coming in, the cutter, and all the other bits and pieces as well. So, yep, I'll go back to the uh, the young man who I won't mention his name here because that might link him back to his media company <laughs> who drew that, and <laughs> see if we can do something. But I tell you what, we've got the um, Nikki No Boats is very close to happening. We've had the first couple of drafts through, and I might get to play with that tomorrow in the uh, new printer but setup. This this is the sort of top top tier shit posting material that we we could be pumping out to you, the masses, very very shortly.